Navy SEALs operate from the sea, air, and land. These three environments are the foundation of training at the Naval Special Warfare Center. All Navy SEAL candidates learn how to parachute and perform air operations at Naval Special Warfare Advanced Training Command. This is one of the last courses candidates must pass before earning the Trident Warfare Insignia that officially designates them as Navy SEALs. The first course is Static Line Parachuting. This involves jumping out of a plane at 1,250 feet above ground level and parachuting to a drop zone on land. As in all air operations courses, students are medically screened and must be in top physical condition to participate. The five-day course begins with two days of classroom instruction. Experts teach students about the five points of performance executed during static line parachute operations. Special attention is paid to learning how to respond to canopy malfunctions and how to properly conduct a parachute landing fall. Students get hands-on lessons with their parachute rigs, including donning the gear and learning how to respond to jump master commands. Once these subjects are mastered, students will board a plane and perform three jumps with their parachute rig and ruck. Upon successful completion of these three jumps, students will don their rig and combat gear and perform two more static line jumps before graduating. The next step is the Navy Parachute Military Freefall Course. Here, students will perform four weeks of instruction in accelerated freefalls, group jumping, high altitude, high opening, and high altitude, low opening jump techniques, and jumping at night, with many other lessons about equipment and procedures. Students will spend more than 30 hours in the classroom and several more in a wind tunnel before boarding a plane and performing their jumps at altitudes of 8,000 to 10,000 feet above ground level. The final air operations course is the helicopter rope suspension technique and cast basic roper. This five-day course focuses on the use of ropes, harnesses, and multiple ladder systems during special operations from a helicopter. The first part of this course is spent on dry land as students learn how to repel, belay, and fast rope from a tower wall and hellhole during the day and night before conducting them on a helicopter. Finally, students learn climbing techniques including caving and Jacob's ladders. Every air operations course is supported by a staff of professionally trained instructors and includes emergency medical technicians, drop zone safety officers with FAA and Navy certified riggers as required. All students are briefed on safety and emergency procedures well before they attempt practical application of the curriculum. Multiple feet dry sessions are conducted to familiarize students with techniques. The Advanced Training Command provides practical education that is operationally relevant for Navy SEALs. Many missions include insertion by air into enemy territory or extraction by a hovering helicopter during combat operations, fast roping onto a moving ship or climbing a steep Jacob's Ladder on a ship's hull are important to maritime operations. The ability to gain entry to denied areas by air is a prominent feature of SEAL combat capabilities and it all begins at Naval Special Warfare Center.